Right now, I'm kind of uh, taking off the parts I don't want. And it's photographic paper, so I could take off just by using, a, you know, like a chemical. It's almost like bringing the light back in. Yeah, I was doing these meditation paintings that were like almost like an image of a tree of life. You know, like looking down and leaves kind of dispersing. Meditation paintings all started in the center because a lot of my paintings had been kind of very decentralized. I've been using flowers on and off for a long time, but I don't really see them as flowers. flower having been taken away, which is literally what I do. Things eventually break down. Our cravings is that things as we see them or as we want them will stay that way. Nothing does. These new paintings are clock paintings. They just have to do with time fading and time passing. Certainly beauty is a hook. I think things can't be beautiful enough. And to have light coming from inside of them. That's what they told me at the UN. That's the first time they've ever appointed an artist as a UN Goodwill Ambassador, a visual artist. Ultimately, the question comes down to, can any one person make a difference? In this case, a refugee camp in Africa and work with children who had been formally abducted, boys uh, as soldiers and girls as sex slaves maybe to tell their story using imagery as a rehabilitative tool. But if I thought that was even possible, I mean, you know, I do think that's possible. These children saw and understood that they can actually make something that other people can look at and recognize. I feel it made them feel very valuable. Just by moving around this little brush, with this colorful stuff on the end of it. No matter what happened in the past, that they could look to a future. And what would they want that future to look like? I just think that that kind of created this like explosion of color. A lot of what they wanted to be is expressed in their work. I want to be a mechanic, they draw cars. I want to be a dressmaker, they draw clothes. When I left, a lot of them told me they wanted to be artists. So May 12th at the UN, there will be a lot of the work of the children and it will be for sale and the proceeds are gonna to go to the United Nations Office of Crime and Drugs. But they will be followed up in terms of their schooling. I made a catalog and I'm curating the exhibition and I guess the appointment ceremony, whatever that means. <laughs> I plan to go back and do it again with another group next year.
I actually believe the best part of my work might not even necessarily be in my work to ask questions, but also provide some kind of relief. In Buddhism, it's called tanglen. You breathe in and you breathe out. And when you breathe in, there's no way that you can't breathe in the suffering that you see. When you breathe out, you can breathe out a kind of enthusiasm and hopefulness.